I'm going to show you how to use our Twitter timeline widget. So once you drag it on your workspace, so the only thing you have to write here is your Twitter username, okay? So in this case, we're Responsive Muse, and that's it. So the thing with this Twitter widget is that you should hide and place the widget as many times as breakpoints you have on your workspace. So I'm going to explain it. I have three breakpoints, okay? So I'm going to set the, here in the first and the biggest breakpoint, I'm going to set the widget here. So the thing is that I'm going to hide this widget in the other breakpoints and then place, drag another widget and place it in the other breakpoints. So what I'm going to do here is hide in other breakpoints. So now you won't find it in the breakpoint 615. So here what we're going to do is drag another widget. Okay, let's place it here. Okay, I'm going to place it here. Do the same thing. You're going to right button and hide in other breakpoints. And now we're going to the smallest breakpoint and we're going to drag the widget again. Okay, you can resize this, so I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller. And do the same, right button and hide in other breakpoints, okay? Because the thing is that this widget sometimes doesn't, it will disappear. If you just place one widget, it will, it will disappear in the smaller breakpoints. But if you do this, uh, it will always appear. So let's preview this. Okay, so now you see here, we have our Twitter timeline and you can actually scroll down and see all our timeline with our latest updates. So now I'm going to make the, the browser smaller. So see how it reaches to the different breakpoints. So there it reached to a breakpoint and it's supposed to reach to a smaller breakpoint, but Safari won't allow me to make it smaller, but Google Chrome does. So that's what you have to do, okay? Because the problem is that when you reach the smaller breakpoints, the widget will disappear. But if you do this, nothing will happen. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.